just want to be given the chance. You were the pioneers that built women's football. The opportunity to succeed. Or even to fail. You are the league of their own. Figure out what the fuck you need to do mentally to be able to sacrifice everything for the girl next to you. You better knock the fucking skin out of her. Put the hurt on them first. Keep them on the ground. Stick your butt on their throat. I got asked one question tonight and it was, are we going to win? And seriously, we are going to win. Have a look at each other. We've already won. Have a look at the bond that we've already discovered within each other. Have a look at our strengths that we've already brought to each other. Each one of us is a conduit of light and we truly have strengthened each other and healed each other in so many more ways than just football can even bring, you know? Like, the girl beside you, she's not just your friend now. Like, she truly is your sister. And we all know that. We truly know that. So are we going to win? We've fucking already won. We've already won. A passionate Ty Emery inside the Vegas Sin locker room as we welcome you to LFL football night. Mitch Mortaza alongside Bobby Huco. A little bit later, Audra Marie joining us down on the sidelines. Now, Bobby, here we are. The LFL playoffs are set. There's no mystery to that. The teams we have tonight, Las Vegas and Seattle, they still have something to play for. Without question, especially for the Las Vegas Sin. They have a lot of talent on the field, but it does not show in their record. They're 0-3-1. That points right at the head coach, Willie Garrett. He came in here with a lot of accolades as a defensive coordinator for Omaha, but his job might be on the line tonight. As for the players, it starts with their young stud quarterback, Cindy Cummings. When she's on, she's as good as any quarterback in the LFL. The problem was she came in out of shape this year. It brought down the offense. She needs a big game tonight. And it starts with her wide out. Outside, she's got Cynthia Schmidt. 5'11", great catch radius, but a little inconsistent catch in the football. But the story of the year on offense has been running back. Dominique Malloy. Right now, she's the most feared player in the LFL, and she's a favorite for Rookie of the Year. And on defense, from Australia, Ty Emery. You mentioned her earlier. She really shored up this defense. This is going to be a fun Las Vegas team to watch play tonight. Yeah, fun and loaded. I cannot believe this roster is 0-3-1 at this point in the season. Now, they might get a shot for a W tonight as they're going to face a lot of second stringers with Seattle. That is what head coach Chris Michelson said when we met with them earlier. They want to specifically look at Katie Finley. Katie Finley is going to get some time at quarterback. They want to see if she can back up KK Matheny if needed in the postseason. But the real headlines here in the Pacific Northwest this week were the signings of Jenna Weiss and Teresa Petrozulo, both pair of all-stars returning to the game. First off, Jenna Weiss, she is absolute specimen at center here. She's going to give them the size they need in the playoffs. And then Teresa Petrozulo, great target at wide receiver, an absolute sure tackler, and a nose for the football defensively. And then the heart and soul of this team. Who's that? That's Danica Brace. Coming into tonight, she's the nominee for league MVP as well as defensive player of the year. We're so impressed with her that we sent Audra Marie down to the Seattle Miss training facility this week to talk to her about this end season run. Danica, this is your fifth year in the league. Now, while you've achieved some personal goals, a championship has eluded you. Tell me, how important is it to your legacy to win a Legends Cup? A championship would be everything to me. Um, you know, for the amount of work I've put in and the seasons I've been through and coaches I've been through, um, you know, walking off the field at the end of the season, knowing that you are a champion, there's no better feeling in the world, and that's what we're out for as a team. And, Obviously, as a single unit as well, I'll do anything I can to help my team out. What is your biggest motivating factor in life? Um, definitely my parents. Um, I want to be able to be able to give back to them and, and show them how much I respect what they, the child that they gave me. And um, you know, I, I was I was very fortunate growing up, and I'd love to be able to give back any and everything to them. So I know I have to create a success out of myself. When you're done playing, how do you truly want to be remembered? I want to be remembered as the baddest linebacker ever in history. Um, and also, you know, off the field, somebody that people were able to come to and to ask for advice and, and ask technique questions, you know. Um, I want to leave a legacy so that anybody that comes into this league has a higher standard that they have to play to. Intensity, leadership, focus, and determination. These are the words that come to mind when thinking of Danica Brace. 
Grace has emerged as the LFL's most dominant defensive player while also contributing to Seattle's offense. Although the individual awards won't define her legacy, a championship certainly will. Back to you guys. Thanks, Audra. And the Seattle Mist are ready for battle. As the teams take to the field, we get you ready. It is the Las Vegas Sin versus the Seattle Mist. Kickoff is next. Welcome back to LFL Football Night. Here in the Pacific Northwest, Mitch Mortaza alongside Bobby Huco. Now let's go down to the third member of our broadcast team, Audra Marie. Hey guys, I'm down here on the field with Coach Chris Michelson. Coach, arguably your best roster in LFL history. Tell me, what are your expectations going into the game tonight as well as heading into the playoffs? Well, obviously tonight we've already secured a playoff position, so tonight we're going to definitely see some different looks. I want to see some different personnel, do some different things, and then see how we react to them, and then I can adjust them, film, and get ready for August 15th. Good luck to you tonight and for the playoffs. Back to you guys. I'm really looking forward to seeing the backup quarterback, Katie Findling. Coach Michelson told me all about her. She is very talented. We haven't seen her play yet at quarterback. This should be fun. And now Tamar Finnell getting us underway. A bouncer, the melee Gilmore. Gilmore, a little bit of real estate. Now cutting to the left side. She's to midfield, breaking tackles. And still on her feet all the way down to the nine yard line. What a way to open this game up. Melee Gilmore almost took it coast to coast. Watch this cut here. All of a sudden, bam, cuts right there and she is gone. Simply out running the Las Vegas kickoff team. What a start for the Seattle Mist, wow. They will have great field position, the Seattle Mist will. When KK Matheny gets under center, they'll have the ball at the nine yard line of Vegas. And there are the numbers for Matheny for the 2015 season, 127 quarterback rating. I look for KK Matheny to have a big night. She's probably only gonna play half the game, and she knows that, so I wouldn't doubt if she came out throwing. Seattle back in the shotgun. There's a look at Danica Brace, who will play a lot of offense tonight. A quick screen pass to Brace, in fact. She'll get out to the five-yard line. Tackle made by Ty Emery. And Brace added to this number three ranked offense. Let's meet the starters. Megan Hansen, center. Danica Brace, tight end. Katie Whalen, tight end. Jessica Hopkins, wide receiver. Bryn Renda, wide receiver. Stevie Schnorr, running back. KK Matheny, your quarterback. The key to that Seattle offense will be getting the ball to wide receivers Jessica Man. Hopkins and Bryn Renda. Go. A great combination at the wide out position, but Seattle will keep it on the ground on second and goal. And Stevie Schnorr, the bull. The bull gaining four yards on the carry. That'll take it down to the Vegas one yard line, setting up a third and goal. Great kick out block right there by Fowler, but then an aggressive Las Vegas defense. We haven't seen that all year. They swarm to tackle Brace. Now a third and goal. There's a look at Stevie Schnorr. She has been absolutely the workhorse this season. Nicknamed the Bull earlier by that man, Chris Michelson. Go. Now a third and goal, and they're going to go to the Bull. Great tackle. That looked to be Ty Emery, the transplant from Australia. We talked about her in the pregame show. She has had such an impact on this defense. It was a great free agent acquisition by head coach Willie Garrett to get her from Australia. She really shored up this defense. They're playing good football right now. Now Chris Michelson sending in a fourth and goal play. This is vital early. You want to get a team like the Vegas Sin playing from behind in front of this big crowd. Arguably the toughest environment in the LFL here at the Shower Center. As KK Matheny goes under center, she's going to hand off to Jessica Hopkins. And Jay Hop walking into the end zone. And she'll give Seattle an early 6 to nothing lead. It looked like that was an audible by KK Matheny. She came over the weak side of the field. There's nobody out there. Great call by Matheny. And Jessica Hopkins walks in the end zone. Hopkins, one of those underrated veterans. This is her sixth season with the Seattle Mist. She, alongside several others, would like nothing more 
than to finish their LFL journey here with a championship. Not to mention Hopkins named a Hall of Fame nominee earlier today. So a big night for number five. From the shotgun is Matheny looking across the middle, finding Brent Renda. That is her favorite target at 5'11 from Orlando, Florida. Renda has made a definite impact on this offense and become the favorite target, as I said, of K.K. Matheny. It's a pass run option by K.K. Matheny. The defensive corner came up, Kelly Campbell. Then left, Bryn Renda wide open in the back of the end zone. Again, a great read by K.K. Matheny. And there is Sydney Cummings, the 20-year-old quarterback in her sophomore season having a tough year. We talked about her, Bobby, that she came in out of shape. She's committed to turning things around. And there's the handoff, Dominique Malloy. There is the Rookie of the Year nominee. And that's a 35-yard touchdown run. Absolutely lightning in a bottle is number 15. She was shot out of a cannon. Watch this jump cut. Boom, right there, she is gone. This Seattle team has great speed, but she's got world-class speed, untouched into the end zone. Dominique Malloy, she might have won the rookie of the year with that run. Here I am setting up the offense with Sydney Cummings, and within seconds, Dominique Malloy breaks off a 35-yard run. She is absolutely special. Now the extra point attempt. A little bit of confusion from that Vegas offense. That's Play been one of the challenges. Offense, number five, five-yard penalty. We will retry. Head referee Michael Livingston calling a false start. And it looked like the call was against Brittany Henderson. That will back up Vegas. What could have been a one-point attempt from the one will now turn into a one-point attempt from the six-yard line. The rookie wide receiver making a big mistake early. And looking to Henderson is Cummings. That looked to be a bit short. So the score will remain Seattle 8, Las Vegas 6. Miscommunication between Cummings and Henderson. Cummings was ready to throw the football early, but Henderson was not ready for the ball. Does not look good right there. One great run, but everything else looked really sloppy there for Las Vegas. Dominique Malloy has absolutely been the bright spot of that offense. Everyone else seems to be struggling as Seattle now takes over from its own 15-yard line. Matheny back to pass, looking down the field, has Brent Renda! And on cue number 19, that is a 29-yard pass and catch. And this crowd coming to life, loving every moment. Just a straight go route. What a pass by K.K. Matheny. I thought Lauren Fogel was going to get there to break it up, but she couldn't get there. Great play by Seattle. We knew they are going to light it up, but they're on fire right now. And there's Brent Renda's numbers this season. You can see the yards per catch, 13 and a half yard average. Definitely the deep threat. And tonight, Bobby, the big thing is we saw it there on that last play. They're matching her up with Tamar Fennell. Fennell's giving up at least a foot and a half on Bren Renda. Bren Renda, you can throw her the alley-oop all night long against Fennell. That's a great point. Now from the wishbone, rolling right, Matheny throwing right to Megan Hansen. And just past the outreach arm of Hansen, Lucy Hall in coverage. Hall part of the worst defense in the league. Let's meet their starters. Kia Ramos, defensive end. Adrian Hoppo, defensive end. Ty Emery, linebacker. Lucy Hall, corner. Kelly Campbell, cornerback. Lauren Fogel, safety. Tamara Fennell, defensive back. The heart of that defense is linebacker Ty Amber. She's having a sensational season so far. Now a second and goal ball at the Vegas six yard line. Matheny again in the shotgun, heavy pressure, shovel pass. And Danica Brace from the tight end position. She'll score on a six-yard touchdown pass, extending Seattle's lead. K.K. Matheny, great execution on the shuffle pass. She let the defensive end get to her, then she goes underneath to brace. Great call by Coach Michael. This is an offense. We've talked about it all year. 
built out of potentially 100 plays from multiple formations. And no one has mastered it like number 15. And now she's got number eight in the lineup, Danica Brace. Incredible leadership, veteran leadership on this offense. Matheny now looking to the left side on the extra point, overshooting her target, Stevie Schnorr. And that's Lauren Fogel in coverage. Stevie Schnorr was open. That was a bad pass by KK Matheny. One-on-one -on -one coverage against Fogel. Fogel was there, but the ball was just overthrown. A three-play, 35-yard drive by the Seattle Mist, taking about 2.10 off the clock. And now the Vegas Sin taking over at their own 15-yard line. And be on the lookout for number 15. That's who they're going to go to, Dominique Malloy. And I think Seattle's defense got the memo. That's Katie Whelan. Let's meet the starters for Seattle. Stevie Schnorr, defensive end. Katie Whelan, defensive end. Danica Brace, middle linebacker. Megan Hansen, corner. Katie Finley, your corner. Bryn Renda, wild card. Jessica Hopkins, free safety. The key to that defense tonight is going to be Danica Brace. She has to personally control Dominique Malloy. They're going to spy Malloy a bit. There's Sydney Cummings looking for her target, Cynthia Schmidt. Schmidt, the absolute home run hitter on this offense outside of Malloy. And now let's meet the starters for Vegas. Tia Perry, center. Adrian Kopko, tight end. Kia Ramos, tight end. Brittany Henderson, wide receiver. Cynthia Schmidt, wide receiver. Dominique Malloy, running back. Cindy Cummings, your quarterback. A lot of talent on that Las Vegas offense, but Dominique Malloy is the one to watch tonight. Third and 10, that is an option play to Malloy. Faking to the inside, cutting back to the outside. There's Danica Brace. We talked about her spying Malloy tonight. It looked like she was doing just that. Malloy gaining six yards on the carry. It's an option play, read option down the line. They jumped up and hit the quarterback coming. She pitched it out to Malloy, but a great play by Danica Brace getting there real quick. And you can hear the crowd coming to life. It is a fourth and four for this offense. They are down early in this game and need to sustain this drive. Under center is coming, handoff to Malloy. Malloy not finding any real estate and fumbling the ball. I believe that's Megan Hansen on the recovery and the tackle. And that'll do it. Seattle taking over. They would have had the ball regardless. Megan Hansen, what a tackle. One-on-one -on -one against Malloy. This is hard to do. Watch how she focuses right on her belly button. Doesn't let her jump inside. And the ball came out, but you're right. It would have been their ball either way. Great play by Megan Hansen. I'm not sure Malloy ever had control of that ball. And this is a Seattle Miss team coming in at plus 10 turnover margin. That is the best in the league. So they know how to be stingy and giving it away, and they take it away. Matheny back to pass, not shy, going down the field and finding Danica Brace. And Brace doing a Lambo leap in Seattle. Extending the missed lead to 20 to six. What a great call by Coach Michelson. Isolating Danica Brace on Lauren Fogel. Fogel went for the play action and then wide open the end zone. KK Matheny just lays it out there. Great catch, great call. This offense with nothing to lose is really opening it up. These starters know they probably have two quarters of football before the second string gets in. And this is just street lot ball at this point, Bobby. This is exactly what Coach Michelson told us he wanted to have for his team. In the first half, open it up, play their kind of football. They're hot right now, so they'll be hot going into the playoffs playing like this. A two-point attempt from the three, another shovel pass to Danica Brace. And absolutely laying the lumber is Kelly Campbell coming up from the corner position, and I'm not sure she got in here. It's close. Kelly Campbell came off the edge really good, stopped her short, and then watch Tamara Fennell, number one, finish off Brace. Right there, I think she crossed. 
Tamar Fennell almost took her head off. What a hit by her. That was a one-two punch. They're going to give Seattle the conversion. And that is a sight you do not want to see braced down on the ground. We'll take a TV timeout here. Already 22 to 6 in a lot of offensive fireworks. Back to LFL football night and Danica Brace. A lot of missed fans have their hearts in their throat. That is the only person you could ill afford to lose, maybe besides KK Matheny. We'll get an injury report on Grace shortly. And Cummings looking for Schmidt, finding Schmidt. And this offense, potentially the most inconsistent offense I've ever seen, with the absolute biggest home run hitters in Malloy and Schmidt. They are absolutely dangerous. Showing her gun right there, Cindy Cummings finds Cynthia Schmidt on a great fly route. Great throw by Cummings. Her arm is so strong that she knocked her tooth out when she was brushing her teeth. I'm not sure I get that analogy, but I do get Cynthia Schmidt. 17.2 average on a catch. She just loves the go pattern. And with the quarterback like Sydney Cummings, I remarked earlier in the week on my social media that I think they have the potential to become the most deadliest duo of quarterback and receiver. And here is Sydney Cummings getting to the outside. And just like that, Vegas crawling back into the game, 13 to 22. Cindy Cummings, she's a great athlete. She doesn't have blazing speed, but it's good enough to get outside. That's all Cindy Cummings right there. And she's keeping a souvenir for herself, her first running touchdown in a long time. And that is the first time I think I've seen a smile on that young lady's face. She's been under a lot of heat this season, coming in out of shape, but she's got so much potential. And she's willing to turn it around. First and 10, Seattle now from the 15. Hand off to the Bull. That's Stevie Schnorr and the defense swarming. That looked like Adrian Kopko on the tackle. Adrian Kopko, I actually found her working at the pool bar <laughs> at the Westgate Hotel. She looked like an athlete, and here she is, starting for Las Vegas. I'm holding my breath, Bobby. These stories come out of nowhere. But look at Stevie Schnorr. The numbers on her, very consistent this season. And now Seattle going back to work, fakes the handoff to Schnorr, looking in the flat to LaShonda Fowler. And Fowler is another story. She was gone for two games, battling with some personal issues, now returning to the lineup. She's been a mainstay with this team for a long time. Just a sensational athlete. She's got sprinter speed. It's good to see her back in the lineup. That was a 13-yard reception and a first down. And now Stevie Schnorr. Schnorr gaining a very consistent five yards. That'll bring us to the end of the first quarter. And after 10 minutes of football, we've got 35 points on the board with Vegas showing signs of life. Hey, you gotta lower and just get nasty. And not start bull start fucking just bulldozing people. Fuck it. You're waiting for everything to set up, just fucking plow. He wants Stevie Snor to plow just like it was the Bulls of Pompalona. Open the gates and go after the Bulls. <laughs> the Seattle offense has it all cranking tonight. They've not really had to use Stevie Schnorr much as they've got a very strong aerial attack. And Matheny back in the shotgun. In motion, Melee Gilmore cutting back to the right. And that is yet another weapon, and that is eight yards on the carry. Melee Gilmore, another one of those free agents returning to this team. Melee Gilmore, she ran about 80 yards to get these eight yards. She went clear across the field, came all the way back. Great athletic move by Melee Gilmore. Gilmore from Lakewood, Washington. And her eight yard run will set up shop first and goal ball at the Vegas eight yard line. The average field position has been absolutely on Seattle's side tonight. Great special teams play on that initial return. And now Matheny from the shotgun. That is Stevie Schnorr in motion. Looking to the right side, now under a little bit of pressure, creating time, throwing across her body to LaShonda Fowler. And Lala, nicknamed here in Seattle, gets into the end zone. And that'll extend their lead to 28 to 13. 
This is why Coach Michelson brought KK Matheny in. This is KK just being KK, making something happen out of nothing. Somehow finds LaShonda Fowler wide open and she takes it in. KK Matheny is on fire tonight. How impressed are you with number 15 to buy that kind of time and then risk her life and limb knowing she's going to get hit to give her receiver that extra second to get open. She has done that all season long. Takes some super shots, but then makes an unbelievable play. That is the extra point attempt again by LaShonda Fowler, extending Seattle's lead to 30 to 13. Going back to Matheny, if you line up video of Russell Wilson of the Seattle Seahawks with KK Matheny of the Seattle Miss, the similarities are eerie. Hey, hey, when we get their form tackles, okay, don't stop. Do not stop. Run through them. Danica Brace, definitely the leader of that defense. She does not want to sit on the bench tonight. I know Coach Michelson wants to get her out of the game, rest her for the playoffs, but she is such a competitor, she won't come off the field. Brace, the number four leading tackler in the LFL. And look at that open field tackle whiffs on Dominique Malloy. And I'm liking the play of Megan Hansen on the defensive side of the ball tonight. Seattle's defense, they swarm as well as anybody. They attack. Once somebody has the initial hit, which is Brace right there, Hansen finishes her off Malloy. They swarm every time on defense. Adrian Kopko, the tight end, not able to block Megan Hansen or at least hold her block. And Hansen much maligned at the corner position that looks like they've moved her in at the end. Yeah, they moved her inside. She's got that guy in the talent, and she gets after the quarterback. That's why they put her inside. Now a second and six ball at the 19 of Vegas. Pump faking left, Cummings going right, and overshooting Malloy. That was impressive to see Jessica Hopkins go step for step with Malloy. That's hard to do to overthrow Dominique Malloy. She has world-class sprinter speed. Cindy just way overthrew it. That's hard to do, and it wasn't even close. And how many times have we seen this Seattle defense get beat deep? That time, Hopkins dropping off in great coverage. And speaking of coverage, Teresa Petrozulo. That is the all-fantasy safety we talked about in the pregame show. Very, very impressive over the three years she's been in the LFL. Teresa Petrozillo is one of the best DBs in the game. Great pickup by Coach Michelson this late in the season. And look at Sydney Cummings. Cummings not to be outdone by KK Matheny. Mele Gilmore had an absolute beeline to Cummings. Cummings avoided her and gained 12 yards on the quarterback scramble. Great scramble by Cummings, but watch this hit at the end of the play. Petrozillo taking out Cummings. I'm surprised she got up after that one. Did you see the catch-up speed of Petrozillo? She is a massive. I can't even emphasize how big of a pickup for this Seattle defense is Petrozillo. And now the handoff to Malloy, left side, and breaking away from the defense and getting into the end zone. I'd be curious if she was pushed out at any point. And that's what it looks like or perhaps a penalty. Holding on the offense, number 16. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Still first down. Adrian Kopko having an absolute tough first half caught on the holding. That's a phantom hold right there. They, they called it late. I don't know. It looked like Kopko absolutely got under the shoulder pads of Stevie Schnorr. And you could see Schnorr complaining. I'm not sure Schnorr would have gotten to Malloy. No, the, there, you, you can't catch that world-class sprinter. That's like Mr. Ed trying to catch American Farrell. Now a first and 17, big hit. Guess who? Teresa Petrozulo. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do this now, Bobby. I'm going to join her fan club. Absolutely. Look at this. She has not been playing football all year. She came in. She's playing all world already. What an acquisition by the Mist. Lucy Hall having no chance, does gain a yard. But that stud safety came out and laid the lumber on her. And that'll set up a second and 16 ball backed up to the Vegas 25. Basically midfield as Cummings goes under center. 
Dropping back to pass to the left side. Great coverage and an interception by number one, Katie Finling. The read was there. Cindy Cummings with man-to-man -man coverage. Henderson was open. Cummings just didn't get it out there. If she lays that out in the end zone, it'll be at six points. Brittany Henderson, one of Cummings' favorite targets. But Henderson not able to get off in her rookie season. Katie Finling will get some time at quarterback sometime in the second half. But for now, it will remain KK Matheny under center. A first and 10 ball at the Seattle three yard line. Inside handoff, Melee Gilmore, nothing doing. That's Lucy Hall and Tamar Fennell on the tackle alongside Kia Ramos. How many weapons does this Seattle Miss team have? Another running back back there. Every series it seems like a different running back. But what they did do, they acquired Jenna Weiss, one of the top linemen in LFL history, to shore up that running game. What another acquisition by Coach Michelson. Those were the two big signings this week. Made press all over the LFL. Weiss in all fantasy, in other words, all-star center. Played with a number of teams, namely the Tampa Breeze with KK Matheny. Now the handoff to Melee Gilmore again. Gilmore finding some real estate. And Gilmore will gain 11 yards, and that'll be enough for a Seattle first down. Danica Brace, she does it all. Watch the kickout block she has here. That kickout block opens the hole up there. Danica Brace, you can't say enough about it. A first and 10 ball at the 17. In a game that Seattle already leads 30 to 13. And we still have over four minutes remaining in the first half. This is probably going to be the end of uh, KK Matheny, this drive. I, I would be shocked to see her play in the third quarter. KK Matheny, absolutely a warrior at the quarterback position. But her small stature does make her susceptible to injury. More than likely, she will be pulled from this game after the series and overshoots her target, Lala, LaShonda Fowler. Fowler didn't see the ball coming. She was actually open on a wheel route down the sideline. KK Matheny put it out there, but Fowler didn't even look. That'll set up a second and 10. Ball remains at the Seattle 17-yard line. And I really like the fact that they are throwing the playbook at this Vegas defense. And in essence, just fine-tuning their passing game. Absolutely, this is a perfect game for this offense to get into going into the playoffs. And KK Matheny is playing incredible tonight. Matheny now under center. Inside handoff, that goes to Danica Brace. Nothing but green real estate and walks into the end zone. That is Brace's third score of the night. You want to talk about an all-star middle linebacker. And then she's shaping up into one of the best tight ends in the game. Sensational call by Coach Michelson. Everybody came left, and he called a Y inside to Danica Brace. Nobody out there. Brace showing her wheels, taking it in the end zone. But I, the call was just outstanding. They, were, they didn't know who had the ball. Danica Brace having a huge first half. Three receptions, one run, and three touchdowns overall. That's unbelievable. I'm going to start calling her points. That's her new nickname, points. Just give her the ball. She scores. And all the talk about number eight is defensive play. She's putting on a clinic here offensively. From the shotgun, Matheny rolling right, looking to the back of the end zone across her body. And LaShonda Fowler just mishandling that ball. So the score will remain 36 to 13. What great eyes by KK Matheny. How she found LaShonda Fowler, I'll never know. She's looking right, then comes all the way across her body, throws a strike. That should be points there for Fowler. She was wide open. Right down, right down. Well, because I, I, I knew I wasn't walking for this win. No, that's good. But make the catch for me. Ah, come on. Make it look really pretty. Hey, why'd you stop? Why'd you stop? You could have caught that. You could have caught that. Matheny, the consummate leader, does not mind when you make a mistake when you're up 36 to 13 and headed to the playoffs. You got to love her leadership, though. She was all over Fowler. Just catch the football. Everything else was great. Just catch it. 
Now Vegas going back to work, again going down the field. And that ball had no chance. Jessica Hopkins fair catching that duck. That was a duck. That might have been the worst pass I've ever seen Sydney come and throw. This didn't have a chance. They should shoot this down. It just slipped. I mean, she was going for a deep pose, but it just fluttered out there. And now a bit of frustration setting in with Vegas. And there is Jessica Hopkins. And a dejected Sydney coming, certainly having a decent first half. Just making a vital mistake there, hanging up that football. Just like that, Seattle taking over again from their own 20-yard line. Motion, Brent Renda. Renda gonna throw the ball down the field, has a receiver. And a little bit of trickery. Jessica Hopkins making it rain in Seattle. Unbelievable call. Coach Michelson is bringing every play he ever designed and using it here in the first half. Bryn Rend, who's got a gun, he, obviously you can see that now. Great play, she comes on a wildcat motion and then just heaves it down the field wide open. Great play by the Seattle Miss, wow. Hey, let, let's forget about Katie Finling in the second half. Let's put Brent Renda under center. Tell you what, they have so many weapons. You could do that and you would be skipping a beat. That was a quick strike drive, one play covering 30 yards as we are officially at the two minute mark of the first half. It has been Jessica Hopkins, the 2015 Hall of Fame nominee, having a big game. Back to LFL football night. And now we're gonna take a listen in to Danica Brace. We've got the league MVP nominee mic'd up. Do we fucking smell it? Let's get in. Doug, I don't feel the intensity. Let's go. I saw a fatty chasing me from behind. I was like, don't look back, high step it. And then I was like, a little baby step it in. Should be wide open, part that damn sea. I'm not sure that she couldn't play on Sundays, Mitch. What an outstanding football player. Intensity in a bottle. That's Danica Brace. And loving the fact that she's returned home to Seattle. And by the way, she played for Vegas last season. That is a pitch play to Stevie Schnorr. And Schnorr getting in. We have not heard much from the Bull tonight. And frankly, they've not needed her. Schnorr has 50 carries on the year. Tonight, this offense is so wide open. They haven't used her, they don't need her, you're right, but when she gets the ball, she scores points. And you could see Ty Emery not wanting a piece of Stevie Schnorr, as now Cindy Cummings and this Vegas offense will go back to work with their work cut out for them down 44 to 13. I think we both thought this game might have been a little more competitive. Absolutely, we talked about Willie Garrett, the coach for Las Vegas. This might be uh, his coaching career. He's known as a defensive coordinator, and he already let up 44 points in the first half. That pass completes to Dominique Malloy in the flat. Malloy gaining four yards. They try to get her to ball in open space, but Katie Findlay, great one-on-one -on -one open field tackle for Seattle. And now the Vegas offense, very much so in a two-minute set. Cummings back to pass, scrambling left under big time pressure. Drops it off to Adrian Kopko. Incomplete. Yeah, have a seat. Danica Brace all over the field. Cindy Cummings looks like she hit her head either on the wall or on the field, but she's out right now. And we'll take a timeout entry with Seattle up 44 to 13. Back to LFL football night. And there's the franchise quarterback for the Vegas Sid being evaluated by LFL Medical. Don't give up anything, guys. No, no mercy right here. Let's go. Yes, be smart. Be smart. Backup quarterback in. They're going to run the ball. Classic coach Michael Sin. No mercy. Don't let up. They're 44 to 13, and he wants them to go after this new quarterback. 
That is Brittany Henderson, the starting wide receiver at quarterback. And you could see very sloppy handoff to Dominique Malloy. Malloy will gain four yards on the carry. But Henderson having all kinds of problems getting the snap from center. Henderson got zero reps in practice this week, and it showed right there she couldn't handle her first snap. That'll set up a critical fourth and two here for the Vegas Sin. Henderson remains at quarterback, handoff to Tamar Fennell. And that Seattle defense led by Danica Brace with a big stop. Brittany Henderson does not look comfortable at quarterback right now. Why she's wearing those monster work gloves, I have no idea. You can't play quarterback with those things on. Danica Brace came untouched all the way in, and then the Seattle Miss defense swarms right behind her to shut down Las Vegas. This Las Vegas offense looks terrible right now with Sidney Cummings out of the game. It looks like the Sin have given no thought to a backup quarterback. And that's going to bite them here tonight as Brittany Henderson timeout. does not look Las prepared. Vegas, their first and nor does this half. Vegas defense as they call a timeout. That'll give us a chance to go down to the field with Audra Marie for an injury report on Vegas's quarterback, Sidney Cummings. Hi, guys. I just checked with LFL Medical, and Sydney Cummings just got a blow to the head, but they expect her to be fine and to return to the second half. Back to you guys. That's great news for any Las Vegas fan out there. This team without Sydney Cummings does not have a chance of making any comeback. That's good news to hear. Cummings expected back in the lineup in the second half. But for now, it's Seattle going to work at the 24. Matheny under center, faking the handoff to Schnorr, looking down the seam. And Dominique Malloy jumping the pattern. Almost had the interception. That was actually Tamar Fennell. And it looks like Matheny took a hit after she delivered that ball. She's been taking hits all night long. This is what you don't want to happen. Coach Michelson right now, he's got to be having second thoughts about leaving her in the football game. That was Kia Ramos bringing the pressure. And Matheny continues to impress with her guts in the pocket. Now a second and 10, ball remains at the 24. Fakes the handoff right side in the flat, finding Bren Renda. And Renda will go for 11 yards down to the Vegas 13-yard line. And Seattle will call a timeout. They want another shot at this end zone. They are not letting up on the gas pedal. They isolate Bryn Renda one-on-one -on -one with Tamar Fennell, and she's wide open there. She almost breaks that for six points. But Chris Michaels and KK Matheny, they're, they're going to try to score 60 before halftime. I think Vegas has got to roll Kelly Campbell for a corner of any size to that side because Tamar Fennell matched up with Brent Renda. Seattle will always win that battle. Absolutely. Again, you got to hand it to Coach Michelson for isolating them one-on-one, -on -one, calling the right plays. A first and 10 ball at the 13, handoff to Schnorr. And no, check that. That handoff went to Melee Gilmore. That misdirection offense had me turned around. Melee Gilmore is having one heck of a night at running back. They're giving her the ball, letting her have a lot of touches, and she's making the best of it. And Seattle taking a lot of time to line up for simply killing the clock. They do preserve just over 20 seconds here in the first half, as well as a timeout, so plenty of time here. Seattle should have at least one or two strikes here at the end zone. I love what Coach Michaels is doing here. He wants to score as many points as he possibly can. Shades of the old University of Miami, just light it up. Ball at the six yard line, so well within reach for this offense. Matheny under center, toss left, goes to Stevie Schnorr, has an opening, and follows her blockers into the end zone, giving Seattle a 50 to 13 lead. Stevie Schnorr posing the Heisman pose in the end zone. I gotta like that. But again, it's an offense. When she catches the football, she goes through people, scores points. Just a heck of an all-around football player. This is a surprising effort by the Vegas Sin. I really thought coming into this game, they'd give a much better effort, or it could be that Seattle's just that good. 
They are just that good. They are peaking at the perfect time for Seattle fans. Going to the playoffs, scoring 50 points at halftime? It's incredible. Seattle electing to go for a two-point conversion. Matheny back to pass with a lot of time in the pocket, gonna take off with it. Now still looking into the end zone. That ball was tipped. GP1! Fucking A! I want the flash! God damn it! You take way too long in the fucking huddle! Chris Michelson not happy on that extra point attempt. I think he thought she had a receiver in the flat and she could have run it in. Now this is an interesting development. Brittany Henderson stays at quarterback. And they'll look to just take a knee and get into the locker room, evaluate their quarterback, and also find out what's happening defensively. By they taking a knee here at the end of the half, that's pretty much like throwing the white towel in. Why not throw the bomb, try to score some points? I don't think they have any confidence in Brittany Henderson throwing the ball. And I don't think they want to get Dominique Malloy hurt here before the half. Although I agree, that is a defeatist attitude. And that has been part of the reason they are down 50 to 13 here with Seattle rocking and rolling behind Jessica Hopkins and Danica Brace. We'll be back with halftime. A lot of scoring in the first half of this game as we welcome you back inside the Shower Center. Mitch Mortazzo alongside Bobby Huco. Now, Bobby, we knew this Vegas defense was going to struggle, but to give up a 50 burger to this Seattle offense. It has been all KK Matheny in the first half. She is en fuego, on fire, if you don't know what that means. Seven out of 11, three touchdown passes already. As for her counterpart, Cindy Cummings, only two out of seven. She struggled, but to her defense, she was under heavy pressure all night long. Yeah, and on the opposite side of the ball, they rang up the scoreboard, that being Seattle. Scoring a record seven first half touchdowns. Three through the air, courtesy of KK Matheny and two on the ground, specifically this Danica Brace 33-yard touchdown run. That brings us to our halftime score of 50 to 13. And for Vegas, not a lot of offense or a lot of defense, Bobby. Despite not playing for anything, they have to play for some pride in the second half to make this game respectable. And that'll officially do it for us here at halftime at the Showwear Center. We get you ready for the final 20 minutes of football. Say it with me. Kickoff is next. Back to LFL football night in the beautiful Pacific Northwest as we take a look at our starting quarterbacks. KK Matheny having a super night with a passing rating of 129. Cindy Cummins struggling a little bit, only two completions in the first half. And we are going to get the second half underway. That is a great sign for Vegas Sin fans. It looks like number seven will be in the game. As this crowd is starting to come to life, Danica Brace will get us underway. They smell blood in the water here in Seattle. A nice high deep kick from Danica Brace. Fielded by Tamar Fennell on the right side. Katie Whelan flying in out of nowhere to make the tackle. Super play by Katie Whelan. She stayed in her lane and then attack went after the runner, Tamar Fennell. Watch this tackle by Whelan. Boom, that's the way to cover kickoff. That is a tall task to get Tamar Fennell down in the open field. And the rookie Whelan did just that. Now this loud Seattle crowd coming to life. Cummings back in the game, handoff. Dominique Malloy shedding tacklers. And that is a tough running back. She'll gain seven yards on the carry. We spoke about her being the most feared running back in the game. That's why. Anytime she touches the ball, she's a threat to go coast to coast. There's nothing there. This is all Dominique Malloy. That is why she is so good at running back. That is one of the understated points on Dominique Malloy is her power. We always focus on her speed and quickness, but she's a powerful runner. Powerful legs, powerful runner. Write that down, Mitch. Second and three, ball at the Vegas 22. Fakes the handoff to Malloy. Cummings looking down the field and had Cynthia Schmidt. Jessica Hopkins ripping it out of Schmidt's hands. 
We spoke about that in the pregame. Cynthia Schmidt, she gets open. She's a great receiver, but she has a tendency to do this. Sometimes she has hands like feet. I think that was yeah. a better play yeah. by Hopkins yeah. versus a drop by Cynthia yeah. Schmidt. Let me go back on that. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've got to apologize to Cynthia Schmidt. She didn't drop that ball. And now a third and three handoff. Dominique Malloy moving the pile. Malloy will gain seven yards, and that'll be enough for a Vegas first down. Teresa Petrozillo makes a great one-on-one -on -one play. She didn't make the entire tackle, but she slowed down Malloy. Watch this play right there by Petrozillo. And then Gilmore comes in and finishes her off. Good play. A first and 10 after that Malloy run. And Vegas showing signs of life here in the second half. This time a handoff to Tamar Fennell. There's the one-two punch of the Vegas sin offensively. Tamar Fennell and Dominique Malloy. This is the first time the entire game that offensive line of Las Vegas looks great. Whitney, Copco, and Ramos, man, they're blowing away Seattle right now. Kia Ramos, absolutely great seal block. Stop, let's go! You can see Danica Brace urging her defense on. And this is about the time of game where we expected to see some second stringers in for Seattle. Now a first and 10 play. Little dump off in the flat. That to Tamar Fennell. Fennell only gaining a yard. That's Katie Finley on the stop. Katie Finley, she's having an outstanding season for Seattle. City Cummings has a lot of time, just a little dump out of the backfield, not much there. Good defensive stop, but uh, Cummings looks healthy. Now a second and nine play. Ball at the Seattle 10 yard line, another handoff. Once again, going to Tamar Fennell. And Fennell gaining six yards before Jessica Hopkins gets a stop. A real solid drive here by Las Vegas. C.C. Cummings has this team marching right down the field. Damn. Her ass is so cheesy, homie. <laughs> Holy shit. Danica Brace commenting on Vegas Sin players. The fun is officially started here in Seattle as they are routing Vegas 50 to 13. But there is Sydney Cummings once again delivering with her feet. And that'll make our score 50 to 19 as Vegas still trailing big. Cummings again, she had plenty of time in the pocket, but she saw an open outside. And all night long, she's doing a great job with her feet, running the ball great. A very impressive seven play, 35 yard drive taking nearly four minutes off the clock, engineered by that young lady, Sydney Cummings. And now the extra point attempt. Cummings trying the bull rush, nothing doing. As the score will remain 50 to 19. And we will take a media timeout. Return to the Pacific Northwest after this. We are back to LFL football night here in Seattle, Washington. Mitch Mortaza alongside Bobby Huco and Audra Marie. In a game that's seeing Seattle up big 50 to 13. And their offense going back to work from the 15 yard line. Matheny looking to pass right side, completing to Stevie Schnorr. And Bobby, are you a little surprised at the likes of Stevie Schnorr? And KK Matheny are still in this ball game. I'm really surprised they're both in. You don't want your two-star players, anyone, getting injured right now going into the playoffs. I don't understand why they're, it's second half. You're up 31, and you got your starting quarterback in. Now Matheny under center, handoff to Stevie Schnorr, the bull. And the bull showing some speed getting to the outside. Stevie Schnorr rushing for 17 yards before Tamar Fennell makes the stop. This Vegas defense is on their heels right now. C.D. Schnorr, I don't know why she's in the game, but she gives 100%. Great crackback blocks right there. Opens her up outside. Takes a hit against the wall. You can't have that. A first and 10 ball at the Vegas 11. Matheny under center, fakes the handoff, rolling right, looking to the end zone, and overshoots her receiver, Stevie Schnorr. I'm not sure if that was intended for Schnorr or Rendo. 
No, there was miscommunication. Two receivers in the same area. I think there's a Snorth mistake. Because Ren is out there doing an out route. Snorth comes right after. Now a second and 10. Ball remains at the 11 yard line. KK Matheny barking out orders. And she has control of the arena as well. You could hear a pin drop right now. Matheny back to pass. Little dump off to Brent Renda. And Renda finding an opening, dancing her way all the way down to the two yard line. That is a gain of nine yards. I really like this call by Coach Michelson, isolating Brent Renda, letting everybody go deep. Then you wait till that happens, and then you bring all the way across the field. Renda comes over, nobody there. You get her the ball in space, and she does the rest. Now a very makeable third and one play, especially with someone like Stevie Schnorr in your backfield. Although Matheny here is in the shotgun, watch the draw play if you're Vegas. And we've got laundry all over the field. This looked to be a false start on Seattle. Head referee Mike Livingston. False start. Offense. Number five. Five-yard penalty. Still third down. And that penalty is on the veteran Jessica Hopkins. You can see her at the top of the screen just moving before the snap. One of the few mistakes that Seattle has done tonight, Jessica Hopkins, a little bit too antsy there. And that's the first time, and probably the only time, you're going to see Jessica Hopkins do that. That penalty will now set up a third and six. Ball backed up to the seven-yard line. That looks like Jessica Hopkins in motion. That's a right side shot intended again for Brent Renda. This time, Kelly Campbell breaking it up. That's a good fucking throw. Why is she drifting inside, motherfucker? Coach Michelson is such a perfectionist. Bryn Renda actually drifts inside. It's a hook route. She should keep it outside. She comes inside. Michelson is upset at that. I mean, he's up 31 points, but he makes like a 0-0. And that's got to be a concern. That is several occasions that he's gotten on Bren Renda for running the wrong route. Those are things you've got to clean up before August 15th versus Los Angeles. Now a fourth and sixth play, and a dribbler snap back to Matheny under big pressure. Lucy Hall cleaning up. Initial pressure by Kia Ramos, and then Lucy Hall on a nine-yard sack of KK Matheny. Great play by Lucy Hall. Bad snap, Matheny picks it up, then starts scrambling for life. I'm just shocked that she's still in the ball game, taking hits like this. I hope this is their last series. That looked like an apparent face mask as Kia Ramos grabbed the visor of KK Matheny. Obviously, the officials missed the call as the Vegas Sin now take over from their own 16-yard line. Cummings under center, handoff to Dominique Malloy. And no gain, LaShonda Fowler and Katie Finling on the stop. I really love the way this defense swarms. I mentioned it before in the game, but that's how you stop Dominique Malloy. You have to gang tap her. Watch everybody gets after her. Right there, she gets outside, and then three missed players bring her down. What I love about Katie Finling is her technique at the corner position. She protects the outside and forces the runner inside. You don't always see those kinds of nuances from LFL players at this point. Absolutely right. She's all over the field every game. She gives 150%. And that's Sydney Cummings again showing her wheels. That is a 19-yard scramble by number seven, looking a bit like John Elway. If Megan, if she's Sam, get her the fuck out of my fucking defense. Michelson not happy about Megan Hansen. Megan, you're getting sucked in every fucking time. Stay on the outside. It has been a roller coaster ride for number 17, Megan Hansen, this season. Earlier in the year, she was burnt as a corner. And now having some troubles at the D line position. That handoff to Dominique Malloy. And Malloy will gain two yards on the carry. You mentioned that about the cornerback position, but Megan Hansen right there, she got sucked inside, like Coach Michelson said, and out goes Cummings around the outside. Now a second and eight, and Dominique Malloy having a very average night by her measures. 
Although that 6.5 per carry, not bad. Not at all. She looks a little beat up right now, but it's just fun to watch her run the football. A second and eight play. Cummings back to drop under a little bit of pressure, and we've got a penalty. I'm not sure what the call's gonna be here. Early indications holding on Vegas. Holding offense, number 17. 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Still second that down. That penalty on Natalie Brown. We haven't said much about number 17, and let's watch the hold here. Absolutely, that is a bear hug of LaShonda Fowler. That's not even close. I think she took her wallet on that one, too. That was a mauling. And that should be the last play of the third quarter. As the Seattle crowd still behind this team, despite being up 50 to 19. And that will officially bring us to the end of the third quarter as Dominique Malloy is held in check and Seattle starting the party. Back for the final 10 minutes of action here in the Pacific Northwest. LFL football night, Seattle in firm control and head coach Chris Michelson having fun. That was so wide open. You gotta, you gotta just die for the corner, girl. You gotta win it like this. You gotta win it like this. I thought you were gonna score. I was like, there's no way she's not scoring. You drifted in. I was like, no. There's nothing prettier than a back shoulder fucking fade. Touchdown. <laughs> it's good to see Coach Michaelson laugh. We've seen him so many times on Wow Moments and on ESPN, just yelling at everybody. Now he's getting laughing with the players. I love it. A very relaxed Chris Michelson. No need to adjust your sets. He's up 50 to 19. And there's Tamar Fennell at quarterback. So I'm not sure what happened during the break, but Sydney Cummings is not out there. Tamar Fennell actually looked pretty good at quarterback. She played back in school. She knows the position. Not sure what happened to Cummings. She still might be a little woozy from that hit. That Lucy Hall run will now set up a third and 15. Ball at the Seattle 20-yard line. And now we get a look at Tamar Fennell. I'm, I'm not sure if I've ever seen her throw the ball, but she is a pure athlete. Perhaps we'll see a little bit of a wildcat. Fennell definitely can do some damage with her feet. Dropping back to pass now, finding a seam up the middle. And that seam closing quickly by LaShonda Fowler better known as Lala here in the Pacific Northwest. It ends up being almost a quarterback draw. She sets up in the pocket, tucks it. Fowler makes a great one-on-one -on -one tackle. You know how Fennell can run. She would've got a first down if she didn't make that tackle. The crowd is absolutely loving every moment of this. And now Vegas electing to take a timeout. Timeout, Las Vegas. Try to regroup Their offensively. We talked about head coach Willie Garrett before the game, how this game was really important for his coaching career. They're down 31 right now in the fourth quarter. They have their 13th quarterback plan. What's it look like for his future? I don't know, but I'd be more worried about that. Sidney Cummings walking off the field. No shoulder pad. I'm sure that is the last we will see of Sidney Cummings. As this crowd comes to life on a fourth and 12. Tamar Fennell under heavy pressure throwing it up. And not able to get it to Brittany Henderson. That's Jessica Hopkins in coverage. And Seattle will now take over. Even if she got the ball to Henderson, it was not enough for the first down. She, was a, she would have been three yards short. But Tamar Fennell didn't look good on that throw right there. It's sad that Vegas has to rely on their 13th quarterback right now. And look at this, KK Matheny still in this ball game. Despite watching Sidney Cummings just walking off the field with an injury, Coach Chris Michelson electing to keep number 15 in the ball game. Matheny back to throw now, finding her receiver. That is Bren Rendo once again. This time, Renda goes for nine yards. You brought it up earlier about Katie Finley being the backup quarterback. She needs to get some work, but they got KK. She's firing the ball great, but we know she can throw the football. In the playoffs, you're gonna need to see your backup quarterback get some action right now. 
Ask and you shall receive, Bobby Huco. That is <laughs> Katie Finling. She's under center now. Kind of odd to bring her in on the next down. And the handoff goes to Jessica Hopkins. Hopkins getting to the outside. And what a game Jessica Hopkins is having after finding out earlier today that she's been nominated to the 2015 Hall of Fame. Well-deserved nomination. She is just an outstanding all-around athlete. We know her as an all-fantasy safety. We know her as an all-fantasy wide receiver. Now here she is at running back. Hey, shut the fuck up! And you can see frustration not only with players, but also with coaches with the Vegas Sin. I'm not sure I would mess with this Seattle crowd, I'll tell you that much. Toss right. And now you're starting to see some of the second string for Seattle coming in. That is Erica Legaspi of Lacey, Washington. Part of the practice squad last year, elevated to the active roster this season. I spoke to Coach Michelson about Legaspi. She's got a big upside. This is the first time getting game action. She really performed in practice. It'll be fun to watch her play. And Coach Willie Garrett still coaching away on the sideline. As this game unwinds here, we're getting near the six-minute mark of the fourth quarter. Katie Finling remains at quarterback for Seattle. Toss left to Legaspi. And what an open field tackle by Kia Ramos. Ramos welcoming Legaspi to the LFL. Kia Ramos coming off the edge. What's this hit on the rookie? She thinks she has the corner, but she's lucky to have her head. Wow. Ramos tackle now sets up a third and goal. That was no gain, so the ball will remain at the two yard line. I'd love to see Katie Finling opening it up here a bit. Got a chance to see her throwing it around a little bit as part of the pregame. Tight, tight, melee, tight. God damn it. And Finling looks sharp throwing the ball, but they're going to keep it on the ground with Legaspi. And look at the rookie staying committed and getting into the end zone. That tells you about her heart. She even has her own touchdown dance already. I don't know how I feel about that. A rookie with a celebrated touchdown dance. She's been thinking about that for a year. She's been practicing that one at home. That was pretty good. This crowd of nearly 6,000 fans loving every moment of this ball game. As they hope their Seattle missed return in two weeks, getting past the Western Conference playoff. An eventual Legends Cup played right here at the Showwear Center on Sunday, August 23rd. Now the extra point attempt. And Finling will get her first pass of the night and completing. And to Jenna Weiss. And Weiss not liking the action after that tackle. Lauren Fogel and Jenna Weiss going at it. Kia Ramos wanting a piece of it. Great to see Jenna Weiss get into the mix here, being signed just earlier this week. Yeah, I don't like the punches, but I love this pass. Katie Finley rolling out on the run, tight coverage right on the money. Jenna Weiss with a great route and a great catch. Love Finley throwing the football like that. Coach Michelson, he's got to love it too. Seattle's got to be happy with Katie Finley orchestrating a five-play, 33-yard drive, taking nearly four minutes off the clock. And Finnell stays in at quarterback, handing off to Dominique Malloy. And the action after the whistle continues here, and this could get ugly. A lot of frustration coming out on the Las Vegas side right now. They're down 31 points. They're not playing well. The defense isn't playing well. They lost their quarterback. Now there's nothing else to do but fight. Malloy trying to get to the open field. That was a shoelace tackle. And she went after Teresa Petrozulo. Petrozulo, that was a nice tackle. There was nothing wrong with that tackle. Dominic Malloy took offense to it, but that was a solid tackle. I think the offense was more toward the scoreboard and less the tackle. Hand off to Malloy, and Malloy losing the ball. And look who recovers, Erica Legaspi. 
making her bid for game MVP honors the way she's coming on. Erica Legaspi getting a standing ovation. Stevie Stewart with a great play to force the fumble, but Legaspi comes up. She has a nose for the football right now. I know it's her first game, but could she be an all-fantasy player? <laughs> Bobby, the ultimate optimist. She's having a hell of a game for her first time out as a rookie. Step up, Ben! And whenever you get the seal of approval from number eight, you're doing something right. As the clock continues to wind down on the Vegas Sin and potentially their 2015 season. It's going to be a long off season for Las Vegas. They have the talent. We talked about it in the pregame show. A lot of talent, but it just doesn't produce points and wins. Katie Findling remains at quarterback. Ball at the Vegas 23-yard line. Erica Legaspi flanked behind her. That is an inside handoff to Danica Brace. That is a similar play that she scored on. I'm not sure what happened there, but Legaspi, somehow Legaspi ended up with that football. You know, we've talked about Dominic Malloy the whole night. Erica Legaspi is making a name for herself in the LFL. This looks to be maybe a pitch play. Yeah, that is exactly what happened. The old Statue of Liberty. That looked like a scripted play. And all bets are out now. You got a 58 to 19 lead. You're assured a spot in the playoffs. It's time to have some fun. Absolutely, Legaspi looks like she wants some playoff playing time the way she's playing. That was a definitely an option play. She just held back, got the ball, and took it down the field. Now Katie Finland looking to pass. Great dart to Danica Brace. Finland looking sharp. That was a great stop by Kelly Campbell coming up from the corner position. She looks really sharp. For her first game at quarterback, she's delivering strikes. Her second pass, good coverage by Las Vegas. She just threw a strike. I like the arm strength as well. Did you see that ball zip out to Brace? Absolutely. There was no arc on that at all. It's like a beat. You ever toss it like that in Florida, Bobby? Absolutely. That looked like one of my old passes. Big skin helmets and all. <laughs> that was a long, long time ago. Not that long, little bro. Second and goal. Katie Finling under center. Rolling right, looking to the end zone. Has a receiver. And Finling, an impressive three for three tonight. And this time completing to Jessica Howard. Howard from Palua, Washington. And I'm sure I butchered that, and I'll get some email on it. But Katie Finling looking sharp. Could there be a quarterback controversy in Seattle? Wow, I doubt it, but she's looking sharp right now. And that will officially bring us to the two-minute mark and the longest two minutes of Willie Garrett's life. Back for the final two minutes of football here. And next week, we head to the heartland, Omaha, Nebraska, as the Chicago Bliss come into town with Allie Alberts taking on Heather Hudson and the Omaha Heart. This has the feel of a Seattle Seahawks game right now. This crowd is going crazy. And that young lady is our game MVP tonight, KK Matheny. Impressive stats, 10 out of 16. Three scores and no turnovers. That is the DNA of number 15. And look at her up in the stands having fun with the crowd. I'm not sure you'll ever see this at a Seahawk game. But there is your game MVP and franchise quarterback giving out her headband. She has got such enthusiasm. Look at her up in the crowd. The crowd is loving this. You got your quarterback running around with you. And Katie Finling, number one, also having an impressive night at quarterback. A great insurance policy for this offense. And there's Erica Legaspi running into a wall. That's Lauren Fogel and company on the stop, so the score will remain 64 to 19. Great play on the outside by Kelly Campbell, forcing that run inside, and Fogel finished off the runner. And look at this. They want to go out in style here in the regular season. They're urging this crowd. 64 to 19 to Mar Fennell under center. Cynthia Schmidt in motion, handoff, that is a fumble. And 
I'm not sure who recovered. That looks like Kia Ramos. And they're going to give the ball to Seattle. Bad handoff by Tamar Fennell. It's her first game. You got to put the ball into the belly. She didn't happen. Then you have to fall on the football. That didn't happen. Seattle's ball. Here we go. They might score 70. LaShonda Fowler on the recovery. And Katie Finley goes back to work, scrambling right, looking to the end zone and just overshooting her target. Brent Renda, who I'm surprised still in this ball game. But that is the first incomplete pass on the night for Finley. Yeah, threw this a little bit high, right on the break. Renda didn't time her jump perfectly either, but I'm a little bit surprised too. Brent Renda is a superstar wide receiver. You don't want her in the game this late with a chance of an injury. Just over one minute remaining here in the fourth quarter. And Finling back in the shotgun, looking to the left side. Here comes that Vegas blitz. And breaking arm tackles. And finally, Kelly Campbell making the tackle. Campbell quietly having a great night at that corner position. Campbell is having an excellent night at corner. Finley will learn about that. It's the first game playing quarterback. Just throw it away. When you get in trouble, throw the ball away. You tee it up next play. But you can't take hits like this or you're not going to be playing that long. As a Washington Redskins fan, I can attest to that. RG3 and company, get rid of the football. Throw it away. You have another down coming up the next play. I think that's two weeks in a row I've referenced a Washington Redskins fan. I think I'm positioning for season tickets here. Dan Snyder, are you listening? He might be. That's Katie Finling. Quick screen pass to LaShonda Fowler. Threw it a bit behind her. Dan Schneider might be watching. In fact, he might have an eye for Erica Legaspi. And now we're looking at a fourth and 13. I think we're going to need a Stevie Schnorr to compete this year. Forget Erica Legaspi. Right side pass, LaShonda Fowler well overthrown. And Katie Finling showing a bit of that rust, being her first time under center. As Vegas now takes over once again, we are under a minute left here on LFL football night in Seattle. And there's a handoff to the explosive Dominique Malloy, making incredible cuts and gaining 21 yards. She's still got a little bit of juice in that motor. She's trying to make a final impression. She's up for Rookie of the Year honors. She wants the voters to see her in her prime. And look, that's an unbelievable run right there. I don't know that I've seen a better scat back in this league. The way she's able to just stop on the dime and accelerate in a completely different direction. And now you've got Danica Brace, KK Matheny enjoying a couple beers with the fans. This thing is getting a bit out of hand. KK Matheny having a blast up there with the fans drinking some beers. Tamar Fennell not looking great throwing the ball. What are they doing? Coach Willie Garrett not happy. That pass intended for Lucy Hall. Fennell back under center, and this crowd is still, I don't think a single person is left in a game that's 64 to 19. I don't know that you watch another sport where fans do not leave. The entire crowd is here. They're loving it. Their starting quarterback is up partying with them right now. I don't think Willie Garrett likes that, but they do. A third and three handoff. Dominique Malloy, no real estate. In fact, will lose a yard. Stevie Schnorr on the tackle. It's going to be a long offseason for Las Vegas. Their head coach, Willie Garrett, giving up 64 points. He's known for his defense, but not this year. That sign really sums it up. And this Seattle team is playoff bound and potentially a championship type roster. And let's go down to Audra. Hey guys, I'm down here with Danica Price. Danica, you are that much closer now to your end goal of a championship. Tell me, how's it feel for you to wrap up this regular season? I mean, I just got to stand up in the crowd and applaud my team. It was pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. But no, for real, we gotta get focused, get back in that locker room, clean up some stuff, because against this team, we should have been precise. You know what I mean? So we'll go back and, and regroup and then really straighten things out. August 15th, here we come, baby. Congratulations on your win. Back to you guys. League MVP nominee Danica Brace loving every moment of this one. As Seattle advances, they will now head to Chicago for the Western Conference Championship.
And tonight it was all neon green. Despite some early challenges from Vegas, Seattle took control. For Bobby Huco, Audra Marie, our producer Connor Schofield, this is Mitch Mortaza, and we will see you next week on LFL Football Night.